On the last episode of Insights with Experts, we looked at how to properly set up for a successful direct attached solar install with the PV kit and S5 clamps. With prep out of the way and panels staged on the roof, it's time to head back to our manufacturing plant in Iowa Park, Texas. Let's catch back up with Mark and Sean. So now that we've covered all of that staging and layout and all the, the critical design elements, let's jump up on the roof and let's start laying some modules in place. This is where you're going to see that it really is pretty quick and Mark, take it from here. This shows the importance of that, that first row. These guys did it row after row. So that first row is really critical, as we said. And then, then they're measuring as they starting to lay the first row. They we just want to make sure that that's straight and level. These are the PV kits. And just think of that, if that was rails. As we said, we brought that stuff up in buckets. You know, they're just now laying them side by side. You can see in, the, in this picture they used uh, an L bracket as a spacer because you really want consistent spacing left, east, to west between your modules. If you're going up a column, north-south direction, the PD kit is the spacer, but east-west, you need, it's good to have a spacer or line those up by eye. When you're putting your crew together, you know, a lot of times it's beneficial to have one guy laying clamps, another guy putting modules in place and carrying them up the roof. It seems like a three to four man crew is, is really pretty efficient with this. Everybody knows their job, they can work quickly. And this, in this part of the video, they're showing that those modules in place, but in front of that, you see them kind of loosely placed nearby. So people were just laying them ahead. Guys are reaching back, the guys that are just doing the installation. So there definitely was a division of labor within the crew, and that's common. I mean, you have these well-oiled machines. You know, some people dedicated to moving, some people dedicated to laying in place, some people dedicated to connecting the wires and clipping the wires up. As they were getting the module in place, they were tightening down that edge grab. It keeps that module from moving as you continue on up the rows from as you do your second row or your first column. You know, you tighten down that edge grab right there at the eave. It's locked in place. It's not going to move. And that sets the stage for the rest of your array. From that point forward, you'll generally kind of leave them loose so that you can straighten them out as you go up the column. Right now, they're actually putting a, a, what we call a correction gap or some an aisle across between two, these two modules. Um, and that is really to reconcile the fit of the roof seams and the length of the module. There are definitely benefits. I mean, we definitely understand the pressure of putting as much as you can on the roof, but there are benefits of having periodic aisles, um, mostly for O&M. It really makes the install easier, and then any future O&M work, it, it, it makes that easier. As well, it helps line things up. If you do get some drifting, these aisles can be buffers to make things fit over. We actually have a a layout tool called the Solar Calculator. This not only does layouts, creates bills of material for you, provides technical documentation, but it actually explains as well the fit between the seams or the ribs and the um, module itself. It's a very good tool. More and more people are using it. You should try it out. And, um, it's used exclusively with the, with our PV kit. It really helps you calculate, you know, your wind zones and where you might have to have an extra clamp in the in the higher wind zones and where you don't need the extra clamp so that you're not over engineering. This video just shows them continuing to build. So that's exactly how the on the fly is. The module is a jig, that clamp is placed there as you lay the module on. You don't have to measure those clamps anymore. That's key. And there you're also seeing that they're using these L brackets of spacing to make a precise spacing that they continue throughout the whole process. Solar panels keep getting larger and larger, and um, it does make it a little more difficult to reach over and tighten down those fasteners. And one thing I wanted to point out is that guy is putting pressure on the module while he was tightening down that, that edge grab, but you'll notice that he's doing it right there at the attachment point as opposed to somewhere midway on the module. He's keeping the pressure where the frame of the module and the, the clamp itself is supporting it so that he's not putting all that pressure onto the module. They're still working on that first row, putting modules in place, spacing them out, putting that clamp in place, the PV kit. You can see them tightening up first up to the roof, and then you tighten it down a little bit on the clamp. Once you get that first row in, it's good to leave the overhead clamp a little bit loose so you can go up after and just line things up better, tweak things, and then go in for a final tighten. The correction gap there, you saw them using a level where they were they were making sure they were double checking their string line and everything, whether they had that correction gap as they crossed it, just to make sure their modules were nice and lined up. 
And as they do that second clamp, they're tightening the clamp to the seam, but they're leaving that top grab, the mid grab, loose so that they can work their way up their column and then eventually massage them into place to where they're nice and perfectly straight. So then, you know, this more of this footage is just more of the same, rinse and repeat, as I said. Um, we're still in that first row. What you really can't tell from this video is, you know, this was a rookie crew and they're, they're learning and they're not even all the way done with the first row. And they're really gaining speed and, and getting pretty efficient with the product and how to get it installed. It's a pretty quick learning curve. Like I said, it was really hot up there. We, they needed shade. So that was a good place to put some modules in there to stage them before they install them and do final checks on each each module. They're, they're, they're working with that dual optimizer again, double checking their diagram, making sure they're getting everything in, in place properly according to their map. This is really key for um, future. If for some reason you were to have a module go out or something like that, you can identify it on the map and go right up to where it's located and repair or replace it. And now this is, uh, you're seeing some video of the second row being placed in it. Now it's really going faster because the, it's really set up. There's no more measuring. Uh, they just butt it up against in, into that PV kit and it's in place. And then they put the other clamp on the other side on the fly, tighten it up like you're seeing. And as you see in this, in this video, in this part of the video where and they're putting in that second row, it, it looks like it's going in faster and it really is. Now they're not really measuring anything. They're just putting the module using that first row as the jig. The, the module itself then is the jig for the next clamp. And then it all really fills in. And before you know it, the system's done. And this is the finished system. Personally, I, I love seeing pictures like this of, of finished systems. This one, to me, was we were pretty happy about it. It's a good looking system when it's in place. And then now, as you'll see in the sort of the, the home run, it's the same clamps. We provide clamps that could be used to... Um, mount um, any part balance the system your home runs and we have actually have a product called the gripper fix which is you can just lay conduit on bolts conduit on and, um, and using our same clamps the same t clamp in addition to that we now have the conduit clamp which is and we've come up with a system where you can mount on top of the of the gripper fix or under the gripper fix you can even shoot conduit underneath those modules to hide your conduit um, it's a really slick system so sean what are I guess the, on the basics of installing our product, what are the, the value of um, the torquing? Setting the set screws on the clamps, you know, we, we recommend that you achieve a specific torque on that. And that is important for holding strength. You know, we load test all these clamps and, and tell you the values. If you're relying on a, a tested value and a load that that thing is gonna hold, it's important that you, you get the clamp installed to what we recommend. Uh, some guys think they got to get up there on the roof and, and check every set screw with a torque wrench, and we by no means expect you to do that. What we want you to do is figure out what your tool is delivering, and it comes pretty quickly. Within the first 10 clamps or so, you get a good feel for how much torque you're really delivering to that clamp. And from then, we just recommend you check it periodically to make sure you're still hitting where you think you are. Have good charge batteries. With lithium batteries these days, when the tool can't deliver the torque, they generally shut off anyway. If for some reason you had an older tool, you'd want to make sure you have good batteries all the time. And finally, is any of the prep work you can do before you get on that roof is, is critical. I mean, it will save you time. It'll save you sweating. It'll save you freezing to death, depending on what, <laughs> what the weather's doing outside. But anything you can do in a shop before you get on that roof, I recommend doing it. And then one last item I'd like to talk about again is our solar calculator. Um, we mentioned it. It is a tool that we have now that's live. Any developer or installer can get on. You can design a system just using a Google map image. Um, and then it, it really does all that engineering, which is a key part that differentiates it from other tools out there. It does that engineering. It'll tell you how many clamps that you need to use per side based on how high the building is, um, what, the wind speeds, what the wind speed is of the environment, um, and you know, all those inputs that go into creating the, your, your pressures that you need to resist, um, as well it creates the bill of material automatically. Uh, it's just been a great tool. People have enjoyed using it. I would say, you know, it can be a little bit of a complicated tool. When you get in there, if you have any kind of questions or anything like that, definitely reach out to support. And um, you can either call us or email support at s5.com, and we can help you use that tool. and 
and show you the ins and outs of it. Thanks for taking us through today's install, guys. As you can see, a system like this is easily tackled with a small crew and proper planning. Why spend so much time measuring and installing rails when you can just set the first row, then use those mounted panels as a placement guide for the rest of the system? Saving all that money on shipping costs isn't going to hurt your wallet either. If you're interested in learning more, just head on over to the solar mounting section of s-5.com or check out the video example above to see an installation on a through fastened metal roof. We really appreciate you all joining us today. Don't forget to throw us a like and hit subscribe or drop a comment below if there's a topic you'd like to see us cover in the future. Until next time.